So I believe it's been since like mid August that I haven't uploaded a video. That's that's crazy. I mean, honestly, it's been so long um, until yesterday, which was the first day since August, I believe, with, in which I didn't upload on this channel. I actually uploaded on my gaming channel. If you guys haven't checked that out, please do. Um, links in the description. But yeah, I didn't upload. You know, I was, you know, all dealing with the Super Bowl and stuff like that. You know, it was a big time. Uh, that was a crazy, crazy game. If this were a football channel, I would be only talking about that. It's not a football channel. But, you know, it was a crazy game. I just need to say that. That's, you know, a big deal in sports in general. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be talking about Yogi Errol. You guys, a lot of you, you know, should know who this guy is by now. And a week ago, none of you should have known who this guy is because he absolutely popped out of nowhere i mean honestly i don't think anybody really knew who this guy was he actually did play with the brooklyn nets at the beginning of this season he was i believe undrafted yes he was undrafted he's 23 years old he's playing in his first nba season and i guess he was signed on for a few 10-day contracts or i don't know what his deal was in Brooklyn because he actually played from November 9th um, until December 7th at least those were the games where he was active on the Brooklyn Nets um, so about a month uh, he was active but he didn't play in all those games um, and in on Brooklyn he averaged six points two assists a rebound 35% from the field 30% from three and he probably wasn't all that great of a defender you know the Nets were they're probably just trying to find any guy that can you know help propel their franchise you know because they we all know about the brooklyn net situation right like they don't have any picks for the next few years after getting completely finessed by the boston celtics in that mega trade with paul pierce and kevin garnett a few years ago so basically they have nothing to build on for the next couple years and they were hoping for a guy like yogi ferrell maybe um young players to start a franchise around and they had yogi ferrell they got rid of Yogi Ferrell, and the guy wasn't on an NBA roster until January, late January, um, and he played his first career NBA start, I believe, I think that was that's his only start, right? Um, if it's not, you know, let me know, but his first game as a Dallas Maverick, he was called on to the Dallas Mavericks, trying to, still trying to learn the plays, you know, he started, um, and he took on the San Antonio Spurs in San Antonio, an elite team, the Dallas Mavericks, they're out of the playoffs as we know, you know, they haven't been good this season, they've massively disappointed, um, but they're like, he's like, wow, okay, I, I can you imagine that if you're playing as like a backup, play, uh, just like a backup guard that barely gets any playing time on the Brooklyn Nets, going from that to being starting point guard out of nowhere on the Dallas Mavericks against the San Antonio Spurs. You're going to have to go up against the Spurs in your first career start. It's crazy. It's absolutely ridiculous. So Yogi Ferrell, who doesn't probably doesn't know any of these plays because he just got signed on because Darren Williams is injured. They need a point guard and they get, they get this guy. He plays 36 minutes in this game and the Mavericks beat the Spurs in San Antonio, he has nine points, seven assists in this game, three for nine from the field, one for four from three, you know, not too big of a deal. Next day, they play against the Cleveland Cavaliers. He's got he's gonna have his hands full with Kyrie Irving. No big deal. He outplays Kyrie Irving, drops 19 points, five rebounds, three assists, four steals, seven of 15 from the field. 3-6 from the three-point line. He has a monster game. And the Dallas Mavericks beat the Cavs. They're 2-0 now with Yogi Ferrell on the squad against two of the top three teams in the NBA. Now, the next game was against the Philly 76ers. They blew him out. He didn't have a great game. He had 11 points, 3-13 from the field, 5 assists, or whatever. Now, this is where we get to what this guy could be. This is where we get to just the part where this, this gets crazy. Yogi Ferrell against the Portland Trailblazers in Portland. He starts again. He plays 39 minutes in this game. I mean, the guy literally going from sitting on the bench, warming the bench in Brooklyn, or maybe coming in and playing a few minutes to starting. And he played 36 in his first game, 38 in his second game, 38 in his third game, 39 in his fourth game um, against the Portland Trailblazers in Portland. 
Going up against Damian Lillard, he drops 32 points, 11 of 17 from the field, 5 assists, 2 rebounds, and the best of it all, he was 9 for 11 from the 3 point line. 9 for 11 from deep? That's not just good for a rookie. I mean, he tied the rookie record for most 3 pointers made in a game, but that's just straight up insane. We're going to take a look now at his stats. Since joining the Mavericks, he's averaging 18 points per game, 5 assists, 3 rebounds, 2 steals. He's shooting 44% from the field and 52% from the 3-point line. This is better than a lot of starting point guards in the NBA. This is better than most players in the NBA. And this guy's played 4 games with the team. Probably doesn't even know the... Probably just, just you know, start... just finished learning the plays by now because he's been playing so much in such a little span of time. And the craziest thing about it is the Mavericks have won all four games. This dude hit the dagger in that Portland game. He hit his ninth three-pointer to close the deal against the Blazers. 4-0 since Yogi Ferrell has been signed on. And these guys are only, I believe, two games out of the Western Conference playoff picture. That eight seed is for the taking. I'm telling you guys, whether it be Denver, Portland, Sacramento, New Orleans, Dallas, Minnesota, whoever wants that spot. Even LA could grab it for fuck's sake. I mean, anybody could get that eight spot. The Mavericks are rolling right now. Yogi Ferrell and Seth Curry have been tremendous as a starting backcourt. And the story of Yogi is, is awesome. I mean, he's a six foot tall scoring guard that's barely gotten any run in the NBA before. He's a journeyman. I mean, 23 years old. I mean, this, this guy wasn't even drafted into the NBA. He played in the D-League. 10 games played for the Nets, didn't start, he only averaged 15 minutes a game, was waived, um, and then signed on to the Mavericks, he's playing 38 a game, he's dropping 18 a night for a winning team now, they play, I believe they play the Nuggets tonight, that's gonna be a huge game in, you know, the playoff picture, that's gonna really help shape it more, it's gonna be crazy, Yogi, um, I think Denver's starting Jameer Nelson now, so he should have his way. All eyes are on this kid now. He's making a name for himself. They just signed him, I think, to a two-year deal. I saw a report about that. I think that's right. They gave him a contract extension. They were they were signing this guy to 10-day contracts. He's gotten two 10-day contracts, and after that big 32-point night, the 9 of 11 from three, you, you better. I mean, you got to give him that extension. He's happy to take that. This is a guy that never would have thought he'd be in this situation, this position. It's awesome. These are like the best type of sports stories. Um, and uh, also, you know, those when you come back from down 25 in the Super Bowl and um, win in the greatest comeback in NFL history. I didn't want the Patriots to win. I was kind of upset. I don't like the Patriots. They're like my least favorite team in the NFL. They're like the Warriors to me. Um, not, not. I, I'm not comparing them. I'm just saying like how I like. I don't like the Warriors, and a lot of you guys know that. But like, I don't like the Patriots. Like, I can't stand the Patriots. Anyway, um, yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and idea. What video do you want me to make? Um, I'll definitely look at your guys' comments. I've been trying to do that more, trying to look for ideas, and you know, recent uh, comments are very good. Subscribe if you're new, and I'm out. Thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.